Today I'm tying a pyramid bottle rocket. Feed your vice. To tie this pyramid bottle rocket, a size 12 fire hole 637 is fed to my vise and a bobbin of white UTC 140 is started at the front of the fly. Once the thread is secured to the shank, remove the tag from the fly and continue wrapping the thread down the shank to the bend of the hook. To create the tail of the pyramid bottle rocket, cut a small clump of calf hair from a tail. Then pull the small hairs from the bundle by pinching the bundle with the fingers of your material hand and pull the butt hairs from the bundle. Discard these small hairs and then with the tips behind the fly, measure the clump to about two shanks long. Pinch the fibers to the hook with the measured point sitting on top of the hanging thread and use tight wraps of thread to secure the calf tail to the shank until the thread is wrapped to just in front of the point of the hook. Now that the calf tail has been secured to the shank, lift the calf tail fiber butts from the fly with the fingers of your material hand and trim them from the fly then cover the remaining butts with wraps of thread as the thread is wrapped to the front of the fly and back to just in front of the point. Next, cut about a dozen strands of electric lime angel hair from a hank and tie it to the shank at around the halfway point of the strands. After a few tight wraps of thread has secured the angel hair to the hook, fold the fibers hanging over the front of the fly to the near side of the shank and towards the back of the fly. Then, trying to keep half of the angel hair fibers on the near side of the shank and the other half on the far side, wrap thread around the shank, calf tail, and angel hair until the thread reaches the bend of the hook. Then wrap the thread around the shank up to the front of the fly. and then trim the tips of the angel hair a couple at a time so that they are about the length of the tail and are uneven. Once the tail has been completed, wrap the thread up the shank to the front of the fly. Now take a strip of loco foam that is about as wide as a hook gape and cut the corners of one end to form a point. Then, with the decorated side down, cut a bevel on the point that was just created. Pinch the foam in half lengthwise to the shank, decorated side down, so that the point that was just cut sits just above where the thread is hanging below the fly. And tie it to the shank with tight wraps of thread until the foam has been tied to the shank at the bend of the hook. It is okay to have foam bubbles in the foam as the thread is wrapped around it. Once the foam has been secured to the shank, bring the thread back to the front of the fly. And then tie in a strand of medium chartreuse cactus chenille to the top of the foam. Secure the strand to the foam with thread until the thread reaches the bend of the hook. Then wrap the thread back to the front of the fly. Because I am using a rotary vise, I'll throw a half inch of thread into it and onto the shank. Place the bobbin into the bobbin cradle and rotate the fly with my material hand as I guide the chenille up the shank with my other hand as the chenille is wrapped up the hook. When the wrapped chenille reaches about an eye length behind the eye, I'll stop rotating the vise, and without releasing tension from the chenille, move it to my material hand. Then take the bobbin from the cradle, and tie off the chenille with a few tight wraps of thread around the shank, then cut the excess chenille from the fly. Now that the underbody has been created, Fold the foam over the front of the fly and hold it there as thread secures it to the shank. Lift the lip hanging over the fly as a couple three turn whip finishes are applied to the shank of the fly. Then cut a lip for the pyramid bottle rocket that is about a gape wide. The bottle rocket is a variation of the pyramid lake tadpole and is a great still water pattern. Its use of calf tail hair with a bit of angel hair adds a bit more flair than the typical pyramid tadpole. If you like to tie still water patterns, check out my still water playlist to the above right. Or if you want to see other effective patterns for Pyramid Lake, check out the Pyramid Lake Flies playlist below that. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can continue to see the tying demonstrations I create. Thanks for watching. Now, go feed your vice.